hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can use a php library dom pdf in order to generate a pdf document here so we will be talking about this library which is dom pdf so if you just type this library on google the very first result which comes in this is basically the library i am talking about so with the help of this library you can convert any template of html with css styles to pdf document this is its official websites it has a lot of features and basically it just requires php 7 the minimum version of php and uh, we will be looking at how basically we can uh, generate pdf document from html template with css styles here so for this tutorial i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website uh, in the link is given in the description of this video so step by step instruction is given so now the very first thing you need to do you need to first of all start the exam control panel you will see this is apache software which comes with the apache server mysql database so simply start this and now we just need to install composer composer basically guys is a dependency manager similar to pip or npm so simply type here composer and this is their official website here which is getcomposer.org so simply go to this website and simply download the setup file and simply install on your machine i have already installed composer on my machine so you can cross check here just go to command line and type composer so if the command is successful you have successfully installed composer so now with the help of this uh, dependency we can install dom pdf so there is a simple command you can go to the blog post in the description of this video so basically there is a command out there of composer here composer require dom pdf slash dom pdf so simply go to the command line here wherever you are building your project so simply execute this command which is composer require let me just show you so right here at the very top composer require dom pdf slash dom pdf so if you just uh, enter this it will now uh, just create this composer.json file so it will take some time you will see it will create this vendor folder and inside this vendor folder you will see all your dependencies are there all these folders are there of the library folder so this autoload.php basically this is the starting point of this uh, library it contains all the paths of the library so we just need to load this file autoload.php so right here now create an index.php file here and now we just need to include this file which is autoload.php this is present inside the vendor folder so just open index.php so now we will be generating a simple pdf document here so right here at the very top you just need to require once and uh, here you just need to give the full path of the file here which is present inside the vendor folder and inside this you will find out autoload.php so once you included this file you will see basically we are including this file here autoload.php which is present inside the vendor folder so now we can use the library use which is use dom pdf slash dom pdf so we are including the namespace of this library dom pdf and after this we just need to initialize a new instance of dom pdf and after this basically we just need to provide the html raw html first of all we will be converting the raw html to pdf document and here we will be using a method called as file underscore get contents and here you can just pass anything let's suppose you can here even pass here a raw html as well first of all we will pass raw html so for that we will be using a method which is present inside this library so dom pdf and this is the method load html 
and here you can provide any HTML let's suppose we provide h1 heading here so we can simply say hello world so this is basically the HTML that we need to convert to PDF document and you can even set paper size additional options you can set here like this set paper size so standard size is A4 and then you can even provide the orientation of the PDF document either it can be landscape or portrait and lastly you can render this PDF document by the render method and then you can simply stream this document inside the browser so we can simply say here DOM PDF stream that's it so this is all that is needed to generate a PDF document to now. so now if I open this localhost slash backup so you will see it will download this document as a PDF document you will see it as, as an attachment if I open this you will see my heading is now successfully converted to hello world and uh, you can even customize this let's suppose you want to add a paragraph as well you add a break, break tag after this you add a para paragraph so again if you refresh it so now you will see there is a there will be a paragraph after a line break you will see that and now if you want to also include the CSS as well let's suppose I provide a style attribute I change the color of the heading to red so now you will see that the heading color will be changed to red so you can see the heading color has changed to red color you will see that you can play with any CSS property here you can even change the font size as well to let's suppose 50 pixel if you change the size to you can see that the font size is now changed so in this way you can now convert uh, your HTML to PDF document raw HTML now let's suppose if this HTML is present inside a certain file so what we can do for that instead now we can use a method here which is uh, we can store the HTML right here we can use this method file underscore get con contents and here we can pa pass the path of the file so let's suppose I need to convert a HTML template which is index.html so we are getting all the HTML which is present inside this file and storing it inside HTML and then we will be loading the that HTML with the, this method which is DOM PDF load HTML and here we will pass our HTML variable like this that's all so now we can simply create a index.html file here so there will be a simple heading here let's suppose this is a template so now if you refresh it now you will see once again the PDF document will be downloaded and this time you will see hello world this is a template you will see that basically this is a separate file which is index.html and it's a template we are converting it to a PDF document here with this help of this PHP code here so you can go to the description of this video I have given this template if you want this specific template that I am using here you can go to the description and paste it basically it's just a login form it contains some form input fields out there and if you refresh it now you will see that basically it's a login form it contains two input fields out there email and password and then this login button here so it is successfully converted to PDF document alongside with all the CSS styles so in this way guys you can use this DOM PDF library in order to generate uh, a PDF document from raw HTML or HTML template with CSS styles. 
so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video